Welcome back. We are doing the recording of 23rd of January's Golly Blessing. Now, all of you who are listening to this have certain kind of speciality which you can actually use for doing worldly service. Now, that means that your speciality, whether it's about speaking, whether it's about narrating, whether it's about contemplating, whether it's about guiding others, whether it's related to health, whether it's related to any other form of speciality. You can use that and amalgamate spiritual knowledge in it and then use that speciality with more power. Now that's what God says that to help people out, you have to have spiritual knowledge. That means you have to have a clean and clear mind and intellect and then use the speciality which has been given by God to you and use the speciality, amalgamate it with the spiritual knowledge and pass it on to others. So let's see what does he have to say in this beautiful blessing in his own words. Godfather says, may you use all your specialities and make them grow and become an embodiment of success. So the more you use your specialities, it grows, right? It's like investing somewhere in a business, which is going to give you more returns. So here also it's about investing your specialities, which have been given by God actually, and using them to serve humanity so that those specialities keep on improving on a daily basis. So the more you use your specialities to serve with your mind, that means the mind has to be very clear, very pure and very firm and very silent in focus. Words and deeds, you know, actions speak louder than words. So your actions also have to showcase divinity of God in a spiritual way. It's not just words. The more these specialities will continue to grow. So the more you use them, the more they will grow. To use them for service means to receive a lot of fruit from one seed and that one seed is the thought itself. A lot of fruit from one seed. So from your thinking and then your words and your deeds all end up bringing a lot of fruit to you. That means the fruit, the first fruit which you get is happiness. Happiness that you're using what's being given to you by God in a worthwhile manner using to make somebody else's life better and second thing is you receive the blessings from others and that's the fruit of it that means you feel lighter your things in life become easier so god says that's the fruit of it do not just keep the specialities you have received as a birthright that okay it's mine so i will not share it with anybody in this elevated life as seeds but sow them in the land of service so those are seeds it's like you know what it's like small programs which have been fit into each soul, individual soul. Somebody has speciality of talking, somebody has speciality of narrating, somebody has speciality of dancing, somebody has speciality of, uh, let's say, singing, playing an instrument and through that they can serve humanity. So that's what God is saying that don't keep it within yourself. Sow those seeds, sow them in the land of service and you will experience their fruit. That is, you will experience the success of them. Now that success can come only when you start taking the first step in service with a clean and clear heart. And when you apply your specialities for serving humanity, it takes a little bit of time, but slowly and eventually, automatically, the fruits start coming back to you. And it's not about having a master number of people who are following you. It's not about getting popular. It's not about having people loving you for what you do is more about you doing godly work nevertheless what people think about it but yes with a pure intention because godly gift of those specialities which you have have to be used in a proper and a pure manner otherwise they can have a negative effect too also in your own life to learn how to use your specialities in the right manner is what you do in Brahma Kumaris do come over and learn this beautiful art Om Shanti